Good deal. Good, 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 good. 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 All right, all right, all right. How y'all doing? Yeah. All right. Turn to the person beside you and say, I feel, good. I feel good. All right. And one of their hotel brands is the Hotel Monaco, who's recognized that business travelers like me, road warriors who are on the road every single week, the typical Sheridan, Hilton, Hyatt, Marriott, Doubletree, all sort of run together after a while. They all sort of feel alike, look alike, sound alike. Good but nothing special. So the Hotel Monaco decided, let's take it up to a different level. Let's elevate our game. So here's some examples. Turn down service at most hotels. What do you have on the pillow? A chocolate. How boring is that? You're not shocked, you're not planned. I bet you don't, you might, I bet you don't tweet about it. <laughs> Hotel Monaco. You don't ever know what you're going to have on that pillow. I've gotten a flower, a foreign coin, a lottery ticket, a yo-yo, a gazoo, a bag of popcorn. You can't wait to get back to turn down, see what's going to be on your pillow. <laughs> How about this one? You open up the closet door, and hanging in the closet door, it, hanging in the closet is a bathrobe. And what color is that bathrobe? How boring can you get? Not at the Hotel Monaco. It's leopard or zebra print. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang. And most hotels, mid-price hotels look like that. Most hotel Monaco's seem to have a relationship with a florist. But here's my favorite. Most hotels have a policy that says no pets allowed. Not at the Hotel Monaco. You show up to the front desk and they say, did you bring a pet? No. Would you like a pet? <laughs> wow. What'd you have in mind? We can arrange to have a goldfish put in your room. Housekeeper will take care of it. All we ask is that you give it a name. So I name mine Trixie. There's the picture. I took big, 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 Trixie's picture with her name play. So the next time you check in to the Hotel Monaco and give them your driver's license and your credit card, the front desk person leans over and said, you want Trixie to come up and spend the night with you again? <laughs> Now, think about how fun that would be. Think about how fun that would be. That's what I'm saying is, what do I do to make, take your breath away? And you say, how do they know it's Trixie? They're guppies. They all look alike. The, the point is, they think about, what can I do? Sensory. You know, when I think about your store, what would sonography, that is the whole concept of every sense working together the congruence of everything, what I see, smell, taste. What does your store smell like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like? You know, when I call your store, what do I hear in the background? You know, when I walk into your store, what sensory experiences am I getting? That you're, what does it look like? What does it feel like? We need to think about the experience we're creating not just from a standpoint of the interpersonal connection, which is critical, but there are all the other things that go with it. Are we creating a kind of congruent? We are passionate. Well, is everything in the picture passionate? Everything in your experience passionate? You know, we are absolutely inspired. Is everything in the picture inspired? Look for ways to say, what can I do to create this different experience?